when you were saying in regards to that students must listen to their teacher in what they should do, um, you said that if we can make this step, because the field is ready for us, and if we can make this step, then a big space will open up, uh, huge prospects, everything is open for us. And you said that if you are at the same time, you will listen to Rabash. Not to listen, but to, to how you said it. Uh, if you follow him, he is uh, as if he is giving you something real time and you're following. Of course, why is it? Is it about the body that lives and dies? What does what does the body have to do with it? It only presented to you like that. But in fact, it's ten spheroid which exist in uh, on the lowest level, which get renewed with its uh, Reshi mode record record of information. Therefore, it seems to you that it gets born, lives and dies. Gets born, lives and dies, and in such form, these ten spheroid constantly change. So what, on the lowest level, and uh, when uh, a person is uh, spiritu spiritual, he is not evaluated by these ten spheroid, uh, he is evaluated by the ten altruistic spheroid. And he exists in it forever. Not on the lowest level when he doesn't uh, sense himself, heal, heal himself, but when uh, he already... Uh, in possession, he controls himself. So, what does it mean? Rabash died, he's dead, Bala Salam is dead, he lived somewhere and that's all? No, nobody of such people dies, and in fact, there is no death. There's no death. In us, those Rashimot get renewed and we see them that way, their transformation. And therefore, the contact with Rabash, Bala Salam, it's a simple contact, uh, just the way it was before. What other kind of uh, would it be? But you are saying that you, just like your students, have to overcome things that come down on you from Rabash, meaning you do not always agree with the... always disagree. Always disagree. And I have to constantly change myself, and thank God I see it, I feel it, understand it, realize it, and therefore change. And what does it mean that you disagree? Why, does my ego agree with it? it disagrees. Every minute it gets renewed and always against, and every minute I correct it to agree and to agree again. So, you have absolutely identical work, right? Even if you are in the state of understanding the system, of course. And that's until the final correction, of course. No, but it's in a larger volume of uh, information, in sensi uh, sensing the system, in sensing this whole moving flow of interconnections. Uh, and uh, it's mind-blowing sensation, yeah. indeed. You live inside of the system which entirely breathes, controls everything. Besides, not just uh, controls people, as you may think. These are completely different states, forces, uh, definitely. Uh, besides, the confluence of opposites, connection of opposites, when they connect and complement one another instead of such unbearable contradiction. So when the click happen, happens, short-circuiting, the proper one, and there appears from that sen the sensation of perfection, complementation, when to completely opposite manifestations, qualities, forces, this is what the spiritual ecstasy is. But if, but if hypothetically speaking, Rabash tells you, Michael, do this, like send 100 people there, I speak figuratively, of course, and you oppose it, uh, meaning you, no, 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 let's not talk about it, it's, 
it's not like that. Maybe gradually we will find an, an, uh, an, 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 an analogies uh, somehow to explain it, but nevertheless, these are going to be analogies. I don't want to. On one side, the fairy tales are good because they give some kind of image of something, maybe, but only one-sided, and they can suppress at the same time, the real interest, aspirations. A person begins to imagine wrong, wrong things. 